Welcome to another video. If you remember, some days ago, Stable Diffusion 3 was launched. That launch wasn't well received by people because of their license, which didn't allow it to be used for anything other than personal use. Another reason was that the founders of Stable Diffusion had left the company, and after that, this release came, leading to a change in vision. They later fixed that by releasing a new license, but the damage was already done, and no one wanted to use it. But recently, a new text-to-image model has been released, which is making quite a hype these days, and that's Flux 1. Flux is by the same founders who left Stability AI to form their own company, Black Forest Labs. Now, there are three new models in this release. There's a Pro model, a dev model, and a Schnell model. The Pro model is the best, but it's only available via their API and is not open source. While the dev model is smaller and of slightly less quality than the Pro model, it's open source and you can use it locally, but only for personal use, as it comes under a non-commercial license. Now, the Schnell model is the one that's fully open source with an Apache 2 license, making it usable for both personal and commercial use. Although this model is the smallest of the bunch, it's really very good. It can write text in images. Plus, it's excellent at generating images. It's much better than Stable Diffusion 3 and on par with Midjourney, making it a very cool, open source alternative. Plus, it doesn't require very detailed prompts, which is also really very cool. It can generate good stuff with simple prompts. So today, I'll be telling you how you can use it for free through some free hosted demos, as well as how you can set it up with Comfy UI and use it for free through Lightning AI. First, if you want to try it out for free, we can use Replicate for that. So, just go to Google and search for Replicate Flux Schnell. Now, click on this page. Once you click it, you'll see this page. Now, you can use it for free through here. Let's send a prompt to make a panda holding a sign saying AI Code King. You can also select the aspect ratio here. Also, Flux doesn't have a negative prompt option, and you don't have to put in very detailed prompts. Okay, let's generate it now. So, here's the image. It's really very fast. Anyway, the image looks very cool, and you can see how simple the prompt I gave it was, and it generated such good stuff, whereas with Stable Diffusion, it always requires very detailed prompts. So, that's how you can use it and try it out for free. But if you want full control over what you generate without any limits, then we can use Comfy UI. Although you can configure Comfy UI and the Schnell model locally, you'll need a really big GPU, which obviously everyone doesn't have. So, to do that for free, you can use something like Colab. But I don't like Colab because it's not good at all. So, I'll use Lightning AI. Lightning AI is basically similar to Colab, but instead of the notebook interface, it's a VS Code interface with terminal and everything, which makes it basically a computer with a GPU. It has a free tier, which gives about 22 hours per month, which I find pretty good, as it also has persistent storage. Anyway, you can also follow along the same steps I'm going to show you if you want to do the same thing locally on your computer. First, get yourself signed up on Lightning AI. Now, once you are here, just go to the Studio Templates option. Now, search for Comfy UI. You'll see this option here. Just click and then click the Open Studio option, which will create a new studio. Wait a bit for the studio to start. Once done, just open the terminal. Now, CD into the Comfy UI folder. Now, Run the git pull command. This is required to make sure that you have the latest version. Once done, run the pip install command to make sure the dependencies are installed. Once done, cd into the models 
checkpoint folder. Now run this wget command along with the model URL. I'll put this URL in the description. So just run this wget command along with this URL and it will get the model downloaded. This will take a little bit of time. Once that's done, open the start file. Now, here, change the port to 8001 and add a listen operator. Once it looks like this, go to the terminal and run the start file with this command. Once started, go to the custom port option and enter 8001. Now, click the share button and you should see the comfy UI. Now, come to this page. I'll also link it in the description. This is a tutorial by Comfy UI themselves on how to set up Flux. Anyway, what we want from here is this image. This image has the metadata of the Comfy UI workflow we want to use. So, just download it. Now go back to Comfy UI and click on the load button here. Select the image and you should see this workflow. Now, here you can enter the prompt about what you want to generate and also a bunch of other stuff. Like here, you can enter the resolution of the image, steps, and a bunch of other stuff. If you don't know about these things, just let them be default. Anyway, let's write a prompt here. Let's ask it to make a panda holding a sign saying flux. So, once you have written the prompt and everything, just hit the cue prompt here. This will start generating the stuff. Just wait a bit, and it should get generated. Okay, it's now generated. It looks fine as well. You can download this image and use it as you want. You can also do a bunch of other things like image to image with different workflows that you can get from the internet. But this one's also good. I also generated some other images that you can see here on the screen, which are also very cool because all of this can be generated with simple prompts, just like mid-journey. So, that's how you can use Flux to generate images for free, without any issues using Lightning AI, as it's fully free. I've been using Flux for most of the things I do, and it's really great. I don't think there's a need for anyone to use mid-journey now. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can also consider taking up a membership on my channel through the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.